Um, Surah Al-Jinn tells us that the jinn used to go and l go to the heavens and be able to see the future of earth. What's going to happen to people on earth? They come down. They can't just talk to anybody. They only talk to the one who has a portal open. Can you send a text to anybody? No. You got to be signed up with a, cell with a cell phone company. Then I can send you a text. Can I WhatsApp you? Only if you're online. Can't WhatsApp you if you're not online. So they go to these people who are, have opened up a portal with them an ability to communicate with them and they'll start telling people oh tell the king this is going to happen so he tells him this is going to happen and it happens so the king starts trusting the oracle but remember the gen the demons they don't want anything except destruction of human beings so now that you trust him now he'll misguide him next and that's what the prophet said him said give you one word of truth and then 10 words of falsehood and then in surah jinn it tells us that this was this closed off now one of the gifts that we have in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah aided the Ummah of the Prophet against these oracles and magicians and future fortune tellers and all that and that's why they're all out of business they're all poor go tell me a fortune teller who's driving around in a Mercedes and living in a suburban house next to dentists and surgeons and stuff right when was the last time you, you walked out and said hey oh that neighbor he's a dentist that guy he's a real estate guy all right and and oh oh yeah he's a fortune teller no they never live in, with suburban suburban homes mcmansions driving suvs taking their kids to soccer they don't live like this they're all unemployed because now that whole world the prophet has in since his time they don't have access now to really know the future anymore in the past they did and they use it to misguide people